The topology shown as this picture. Make sure that water one has internet connection. Step one, set up the water one. Power on the water one and connect one of the water's LAN ports to computer by a cable. Open the browser on your computer. Type 192.168.0.1 in the address bar and then press enter. The default login password is admin. Type in admin and then click OK. Click on advanced. Make sure that water one has internet connection. Click wireless. Change the primary SSID as you want. Choose the channel as channel 6. Click OK. Click Wireless Security. Choose the security mode as WPS-PSK. Change the security key as you want. Click OK. Step 2. Set up the Rotor 2. Power on the Rotor 2 and connect one of the Rotor's LAN ports to computer by a cable. Open the browser on your computer. Type 192.168.0.1 in the address bar and then press enter. The default login password is admin. Type in admin and then click OK. Click on Advanced. Click LAN Settings. Change the IP address to 192.168.0.10. Click OK. Click OK. The router will reboot automatically. Please wait a minute. Log in the setting page again. Click on Advanced. Click Wireless. Click WDS Bridge Mode. Click Open Scan. Choose the SSID of your uplink router. Click OK. The SSID and channel will be filled in automatically. Click OK. Click OK. Click Wireless Security. Select the security mode as WPA-PSK. Input the security key of your uplink router. Click OK. Click OK. Click Advanced and then click 
DHCP server. Disable DHCP server and then click OK. Click OK. Step 3. Go back to set up the Voter 1. Collect the PC to the Voter 1's LAN port. Open the browser on your computer. Type 192.168.0.1 in the address bar and then press Enter. The defaulting password is admin. Click on Advanced. Click Wireless. Click WDS Bridge Mode. Click Open Scan. Choose the SSID of Voltage 2. Click OK. Step 4. Verify the WDS bridge connectivity. Connect the PC to the router 2 LAN port. Enter CMD and then click OK.